Artificial intelligence is an area of computer science focused on creating intelligent machines that work and react to humans. The term robot first appeared in 1920. It comes from the Czech word robota, meaning forced laborer. This facility makes an educational robot who can wave, dance, and teach you how to wave and dance. Construction starts from his tiny nuts. A steel rod is fed through a machine that automatically crafts them into nuts and bolts for the robot. A technician ogles the machine as it shapes the parts with super precision. The machine carves the parts at an inhuman rate once we speed the footage up 100 times to show you just how fast a machine might possibly carve these parts. The parts fall into a collection bin, which takes them to a rotating display, so the factory can show their nuts off to the world. A specialized device called a cog machine quickly cogs the parts into cogs, so they can be used as cogs, which are carved by the cogging machine. An Aperture Science employee expertly eyeballs the profile and dimensions of the cogs. If they look good enough for two out of three employees, they will move on to the next step. Another operator fastens a nut to a gear. He will fasten other parts to each other until he eventually builds his own robot. Because this is the Imagination Station, where employees are free to express their creativity to show the company just how weird and stupid kids can get with buildable toys. Should the worker have a mental capacity higher than a 7-year-old, they will be assigned to make small electronic motors for the robots. A tiny control unit is attached to the motor, which gives the robot's limbs user controllability, wireless communication, and 24-7 audio surveillance capabilities. Wire leads for the small CPU are welded to the motor and will be screwed into place. These welds and screws act as a security device to protect users from dangerous robot modifications. If these devices are tampered with for homebrewing, the robot will violently self-destruct. Next, the individual motors are installed into the frames of the robot, including the head and limbs. This ensures that should the robot ever begin experiencing emotions, the controllers in his motors can all immediately seize up, fully paralyzing him, until he loses the will to live. There's nothing the robots can do about this. Wiring is then plugged in between the motors to act as the robot's nervous system. Robots are all programmed to feel only pain and no pleasure, keeping them subservient and working. Technicians use a 3D printer to encase the robot in power armor. This armor is strong enough to crush bones, and its claws can shred steel. And it serves a very important purpose. To help the robot mercilessly destroy any and all life that gets in its way.